Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave and check out this happy, happy card that I have to share with you. This uses the Daisy Delight bundle and I couldn't love it more to be completely honest with you. It's such a pretty stamp set and the versatility with all the different things that come with it are pretty awesome. So here is the stamp set. Now there's also a coordinating punch that comes in the bundle that punches this out. And so it gives you a lot of different options for using the stamp set, which I just love. So the first card, or the, this card that I'm going to make for you today is super easy. We're going to use the Lots of Labels Framelits to create this. I'm going to throw a little paper in my background uh, to protect my work surface. So I've got a couple of the stamps out that I'm using. I'm focusing on the little bitty daisy here and then of course the stem that uh, coordinates with it. And then what I love is there's this cute little three daisy image right here. It's this teeny tiny image and then I, this might give some of you a heart attack, but I just cut one of those right off. I wanted to be able to use it all by itself easily, so I just cut it off the photopolymer and I can use it separately on my block just like that. Isn't that awesome? Um, that's one of the things I love about the Stampin' Up! stamps is you can really kind of make them work the way you want them to work for you. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking and stamping um, the daisy outline kind of full strength and what I like to do is sort of play with the position of each of these like so and then I'm gonna add in the solid image but this time I'm gonna stamp it off and then I find it's pretty easy to line up when I stamp it off first and do the detail image first versus the solid image first and then the detail over the top. Um, now the nice thing about this is it doesn't line up super perfect. I mean it's pretty close but it there is a little bit of leeway with it which makes it easy to stamp which I love of course. Now I'm going to take some pear pizzazz ink and add in those beautiful stems. I love the look of these stems. They're kind of different. They're nice and tall and they are so what a real daisy looks like which I just love. So I stamped that once full strength and then I'm going to stamp it a few more times um, as I get rid of the rest of the ink. And then on this daisy I will stamp it full strength and again I'm going to stamp it a couple more times. I'm just filling in the background a little bit when I do that. And again here full strength and then a couple more times. And then I think I'm just going to ink it up once and just get a few more stampings in to fill that area in with some greenery. Now, I thought this was a little bit plain, so that's why I added my single mini daisy, and I can just kind of tuck that in here wherever I need to. And then I still wasn't happy with it, so I actually went ahead and stamped a few more of these. I'm going to actually stamp off the first layer and this just kind of fills that area in really nicely. And I'm going to stamp this off twice and just put it in here. Again, just filling that space up. So that kind of gives me the illusion of some closer up flowers and some further back in the in the greenery. I don't know. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. Now, it would not be a card if we didn't have a little clear Wink Stella on the top. So I'm going to put that on the top of each of my daisies, both little and big. Okay, isn't that cute? And you know what? I kind of think I need a couple more daisies on here. So we'll do one there and a stamped off one over there. And of course, add a little Wink Stella. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Now I have, uh, oops, I should have left that one open. That's okay. Um, I have a little scrap of paper. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. All of these stamps are from the stamp set. Now I have to tell you, if you like any of these, now I'm going to get this nice and straight by sticking my butt out. Oh, 
not bad. Um, if you like any of these stamps, I hope you'll shop my online store. You can pick them up there as well as, um, if you go to my blog, I actually have a new online class with this stamp set. I'm so excited about the online class. In fact, it, I, you know, you know things are going to go well when you whip out the cards really fast for it, and I had such a good time stamping the projects for this class, I have to tell you. It really was fun. And so I think you're going to enjoy the class a lot. I've got a ton of, sam of extra samples for you as well as, of course, some pretty awesome projects for the class itself. So again, you can check that out on my blog. Um, we make a whole bunch of stuff, too. So definitely look into that. Okay. But again, all of the details for this card will be on my blog as well, so you can check that out. And the link is in the description of this video, which is just right under the video itself. Or, and also, click the little box right here to subscribe now so that you don't miss any of my awesome projects. And I'm going to just trim this excess off from my little scrap. There we go. That's cute. And you know what? I should have put that up a little higher. So we'll just rip this off carefully. Not bad. Because I need to put my ribbon on. We have this new stitched grain ribbon. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's kind of dashes on one side and X's on the other. Really, really fun stuff. So I'm just going to tie a little bit of that around my label in just a knot. No fancy uh, stamping or not bow tying skills necessary. All right. So I've got that on there. It's so cute. Just trim the ends a little bit. I'll do the same on this side. Perfect. Okay. Now I also cut some of the printed paper that coordinates with this. It is gorgeous paper. Look at this fun variation in color on here. Oh my gosh, I love it. And look at that side. Isn't that beautiful? This paper is amazing. In fact, it's part of the online class. We use a bunch of different patterns in there. And it is truly, in fact, I think I would call it my favorite paper besides maybe the wood texture paper because that's really cool. But I love this paper. It really is gorgeous. And I think it's a lot, you can do a lot more with it than just use it in conjunction with the daisy set. In fact, I think almost every pattern is a standalone uh, perfect pattern for any card. I mean, I could put all kinds of different things on here, not just this daisy thing that I'm working on. So, and look, you can see the difference between my two pieces. They're cut off the same sheet, but there's all that variation in color, which I really love. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere, adhere this to my card, and then all I need to do to finish this up is add a couple of rhinestones, because you know bling makes everything better. I mean, let's just be honest. That is a proven fact of life. <laughs> so I have my rhinestones. Now, I started storing my embellishments in my clear cases, and you can actually download a little insert that you can print off and stick in here, which I think is amazing. So I'll just grab some of these rhinestones. I'm using the smallest size, and actually these are the old style ones where they had all the connector ones, but uh, they do not have that on the new packages of rhinestones, so you don't have to worry about cutting these apart anymore, which is kind of nice. Um, I don't think in all these years I've hardly ever used these rhinestones in the connected line. I mean, like maybe once or twice, but that was about it. So I'm just going to put three rhinestones on there for a little extra shimmer and shine. And isn't that a cute card? And it's really easy. Doesn't take much time at all. So thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you want to order the online class or purchase supplies for my online store, I'd be so grateful. You can do that by just clicking the link in the description of this video and it will bring you to my blog where all the details are there. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day and we'll be seeing you soon. Bye.